Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, hope you're well. It's very, very frightening, you know, when you read online reactions to what's going on, reactions to everything we see and hear in the press. It's very frightening the number of people that still believe the narrative that they're being pushed out to without question. Of course, I refer to the far right narrative, which we're all up against at the moment. It's a minority of people, granted, going out there and hijacking what were otherwise legitimate concerns for people in the wake of the death, the massacre, let's call it, of those three young children. They're burning buildings, chucking projectiles, hurting police officers. It's not going to do anyone any good whatsoever. And I'm seeing talk of, let's call in the army. That's martial law. Does anyone want to live like that? Because that's what will happen in the end if it carries on. People need to step back from the brink and take a breath and realise that, you know, this could end very badly for normal people if it continues. The peace of the gun, that's what they call martial law. Well, I've seen some things from friends that are being affected by what's going on. One of them said, if any of you support the far right, you can fuck off. Defriend me. I don't want to know. And I'm going to curtail my friendship circle accordingly. Isn't it a shame when you let politics interfere with long-term friendships? It's disgraceful. And it, it, it's an example of somebody that's believing what's coming out of the telly about the far right but if you actually do a little bit of critical thinking and look outside the box and look at what we're not being told look at other violent events that are happening you'll see a whole different world there was somebody else who is worried for the safety of their child could they get mixed up in a far right episode and be attacked because of the colour of their skin again frightened because of what's seen on the mainstream media all because of a small minority which are ruining it for everybody else you know these started as well protests in the wake of what happened and they've turned into full blown riots because of the actions of a few that affect the many. I'm very, very worried about where this is gonna go. You heard my wife the other day in a video when I spoke to you. Are we safe? Do we need to move? So far, so good where I live. But you look at the major cities, it's, uh, it's getting bad, it's getting out of control. All because of this far right narrative wonder when it'll stop. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you're on social media, give me a share. As always, I look forward to talking to you again soon. Doodaloo.